All right, I'll give you guys a problem. Uh, what if you owned a Magic the Gathering channel and to celebrate 6.9, first of all, you love the word 6.9. I mean, obviously, you have never had relationships with a woman in your entire life, so this is funny to you. So, again, the fact that the product is not called... The fact the product is called 6.9 in crypto is a red flag that something bad is going to happen to your money very, very fast. But you are a Magic the Gathering channel. All your subscribers, you got them from Magic the Gathering, okay? I don't think anyone has any question. If you have any question about that, go look at go look at a typical Magic video. Not a box opening video, but a typical Magic video. And compare it to a MetaZoo video he makes. Or a Flesh and Blood video he makes. Or a Weiss video. Or a One Piece video. There are 5 to 10 times more of an audience in... Shout out to Solar Games. Uh, it's exactly what he said. Hey, I'm interested in magic mostly and maybe a little bit of flesh and blood. But he got stuck with like seven Rudy playmats. <laughs> he got stuck with seven Rudy play. These are Patreon. These are paying people. These people are paying $15 to $100 a month for this opportunity to buy this kit, this celebration. Uh, and all you see is the word scam everywhere. This isn't me. This is when the product came out. The worst mystery box I'll ever open. I mean, this is a celebration. Again, this is a celebration of Rudy's channel. And it costs A, not everyone could celebrate because it was $700. B, not everyone can afford $700, guys. Seven hundred. Some some of these people were buying four boxes at a time. I think one of them has six boxes or eight boxes. He was opening. It doesn't make sense, guys. Like, make it make sense, please. Um, these dudes are just getting blasted, and what I mean blasted, I mean not in a good way. They're being blasted to the space, to the moon. You know, Rudy loves moon right he loves the moon things right who would have you are a magic the gathering channel maybe you do a little bit of flesh and blood who in the world it, it's like the solar games right like it was a play mat like why would you anyone want meta zoo it, it's what he said i was forced into meta zoo by rudy because i didn't want to buy meta zoo but i bought this box and the box was all MetaZoo. And I get, you know, he, this was probably the first sign that he was getting out of MetaZoo when he, every single bonus content or bonus thing was MetaZoo. MetaZoo playmats, MetaZoo promos, MetaZoo promos of himself, cases of MetaZoo. So one of the prizes you can win, and this is like one of the higher prizes, is a case of MetaZoo. Because <laughs> you need... You clearly need more zoo, right? <laughs> I mean, it's it's astounding how much meta zoo this guy had given in these mystery. Like when when you're guaranteed that the mystery contents are going to be meta zoo, you know something is up, and you can you can see this stuff, right? There are probably 50, 60, I haven't gone through all of them. Maybe even more. There are probably a hundred plus videos of people actually opening something that Rudy sold to. Like, you can see box two out of four. The dude spent $2,800 on a mystery box of MetaZoo. That's all that was in these things. You don't need to take my word for it. The videos are online. Multiple people, multiple opens, multiple... I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? He's got two dice that say 6.9. I mean completely useless dice right do we agree it's completely useless right it's not even a real dice i mean come on you'd give at least a real dice kara tv worst second layer rudy take over i want your feedback a lot of people they thought oh rudy and 
this is the key. Rudy doesn't have the influence that he used to have. Like, if you were to open a Rudy box right now, you would get no views on it because no one cares about Rudy. He's still at 300, 369 fouls. He had his Q&A two to three months ago. He hasn't moved a single subscriber since. In fact, at one point in time, he actually lost a 1,000 subscribers. Now he's back up again. My channel is growing. My channel is growing. His channel is not. And, you know, these people, if you want to know what they got, it was MetaZoo. MetaZoo playmats, MetaZoo promo cards, MetaZoo everything. Man, I mean, it was basically stuff that Rudy was given for free that he could have used. You know, it was the stuff that your game store gets for free that they're supposed to give out to the players to encourage the community. Rudy thought, nah, man, I, I'm not going to do this for free. I'm going to charge $700. Again, $700. Hundred dollars. Um, that is awful, man. Can you imagine a community? Did I get hosed and it's alpha investment play mats? You know how many play mats were were in was in this product? Seven hundred dollars, guys. The pins are ugly. They have no value in my opinion, long term. He's not going. He's not going to be around much longer. I promise you this. I I'm one of the oldest YouTubers. I've seen him come and go. I had another channel called New Law Student. I was probably the I was the first MTG Finance YouTuber. I was making videos long before you guys even played Magic. I've seen them come and go. I've seen Rocks and Boxing. He promoted a monthly magic, and he went down to zero. And I don't know if it's, it still has a channel or even updated. Rocks and Boxing, MTG. Nope, I think he just deleted his channel. I've seen people like the Mana Source. I've you know, seen Tolerant Community College rise. MTG headquarters. I mean, the problem with Rudy is his numbers are going down. And, and the problem with buying a set that's so Rudy dependent or a card that says Rudy on it, what if he doesn't become popular anymore? What if his videos don't get views? What if people don't know who he is anymore because he's not going to conventions like Flesh and Blood conventions or he's not going to Magic event? That's how he blew up, right? People don't get it. He blew up. He got millions of views when he went to Magic the Gathering Fest in Las Vegas with uh, Vintage Magic when they had a better relationship. He's burned a lot of bridges, and no one wants to do business with him. They won't say it out loud, but, I mean, it is what it... I mean, it's just, you cannot be tainted by what he's doing, because MetaZoo is MetaZoo. But even before he was doing MetaZoo, and the, now the new uh, grading company, God, that's a disaster, waiting to happen. Like, I, MetaZoo may have weakened him. The grading company will make sure that his channel... I'm trying to figure out these guys' names. I'm trying to remember their names, but they can't. I mean, Roxin, Boxin, MTG. Maybe he's a what? He's a reading channel now. Oh, Roxin Boxin ninety, where Magic lives, and we got these trade confirmations here. Let me click on this, see if he's still alive. Three years ago, he posted and got 362 views. Can't really make a comeback, right? New law student. Let's see what they have. Oh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, MTG skill. 10 years ago, I returned. Farewell, a Johnny man. Dear new law student. Goodbye to dear new law student. Quad nines. I remember these guys. Pack the power, new law student. New law student. Cheating to win, your Pharaohs. That's Rogue Deck Builder, MTG, New Law Student, New Law Student, what the F, right? I've been around here much, much longer than Rudy, and I'll be here later. I'll be here after Rudy leaves.